Welcome to Principles of Marketing Online. I'm Dr. Grant Aguirre, and I will be your professor for the next eight weeks during this course. I wanted to take the time to make this introductory video to um, sort of show you where we'll be going and some of the features on Blackboard that you need to pay attention to over the next eight weeks. Since this is an online class, and we'll be communicating largely through the Blackboard. So I pulled up the student view of the course here, and um, if you start on the home page, you can see that there are announcements. Every time that there's something due, like a test, I will make an announcement. Um, I've already created the first test for this course for Module 1, which covers Chapters 1, 2, 4, 3, and 9. Um, and I've opened that for those of you who are eager to get started. You have basically two weeks to complete the first test, but it's already been posted. And as you can see, there's an announcement that says that it's been posted. If you go to the syllabi link on the course website and click on that, it should bring up the course syllabus. I just wanted to point out a couple of things on the syllabus that you should be aware of. Um, I will check email frequently, and so you should use my Northwest uh, Oklahoma State email um, to communicate with me. Uh, if, however, you have an emergency or need to, to get a hold of me really, really quickly, um, I suggest you call my cell phone. You're welcome to call that number anytime, day or night. Um, if I don't answer, please leave a message and I will get back with you just as soon as I can. That number is area code 405-414-7054. The um, textbook that's required is the marketing text made by Cengage, uh, authored by Lamb, Hare, McDaniel, and it looks like this. They should have this in the bookstore. Um, you should also be able to buy it online fairly easily, so you'll want to make sure and get a hold of that. Since this is an online course, a lot of this stuff will actually come from um, the from the textbook, and I take most of the questions from the online course uh, from the textbook. Um, be sure and pay attention to the schedule which I've posted. So basically for the first two weeks we'll cover module one, which will include exams, uh, exam one, which will cover chapters one, two, three, four, and nine again. Also we will be having uh, discussion boards and I will communicate with you via the discussion board and during the first week the first discussion board topic is due and that topic is how is marketing different from other classes you have taken in college and that's due by the end of the first week on 6-7. Um, your discussion board post should be a minimum of 150 words and then you need to read at least one other student's discussion post and reply to that discussion post and that reply should be at least 75 words. So I'm looking for some thoughtful interaction between the students on these discussion posts. Um, the topics that I've chosen for the discussion topics I think are things that are pretty interesting and relevant to uh, contemporary marketing issues. Um, so we'll start with that one. How is marketing different from other classes you have taken in college? Following this video I will make a brief video about an introduction to marketing and the definition of marketing and sort of how that's changed and that might help you with this first topic. Also, you will be doing a number of article reviews. There will be three article reviews, and I have posted a um, handout, which I'll go over in just a second, for the article reviews. Um, so pay attention to this syllabi. I also need to make you aware that the Division of Business requires that you sign an ethics acknowledgement form. That is due the first week of class by 6-3. Um, if you do not sign that form, the division chair can administratively withdraw you from the course. So if we go back to the home page, if you click on the module section, I've already posted the module for weeks one and two, which will cover the first exam. And if you click on that, you can see the PowerPoints for the chapters that we'll be covering on this first exam. And those will help guide your study through the course of the semester. If you click on the discussions board, you can see that I've already loaded the discussions for Articles 1, 2, and 3. I'll talk more about the discussions in just a minute. And then the discussion board topics. Read the discussion board topic, and then the requirements for the discussion board posts are listed off to the right. So, take a look at that. If you go to the course handouts and click on Article Review Assignments, and click on download the file. You should be able to open the article review assignment document. Okay. 
So, um, for this uh, semester, each of you will read an article. Um, there are three article review assignments. You must read at least one article for each of the article review assignments. If the article is very short, you will probably need to read more than one article to meet the length requirement. You can use any credible source, like a newspaper, the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Dallas Morning News, uh, Newsweek, The Economist, U.S. News and World Report, or Time, or an academic journal such as the Central Business Review, the Harvard Business Review, or the Journal of Business Ethics, or the Journal of Marketing. The topic must be related to marketing. Now, having said that, marketing is a very broad, broad area. Um, I'll talk more in the uh, first uh, lecture on um, marketing as a discipline and the overview of marketing, and that should give you some ideas as to where you might want to find some topics in marketing. Um, your length of the paper should be at least three pages, not including the cover page, a copy of the article that you review. I imagine that most of you will find those on the web, and you can simply attach at the bottom of your article review a URL. If you look at the discussion board page, I have allowed you to post, so rather than actually copying and pasting the article review into the, into the blackboard, you can simply attach an article um, review as a Word document or a PDF. Um, it should be double spaced, you shouldn't use a font larger than 12 and margins of one inch on the top, bottom, and sides. And then I've told you how I'm going to grade the article. Um, 20 points for grammar, uh, format, and spelling. 10 points for your introduction, which should contain a clear thesis statement. What I want you to think about in this review is, or in all of your reviews, is how to structure an argument. Um, articles are fundamentally about arguments, and we make arguments in marketing all the time. For example, businesses make an argument when they try to get consumers to buy their product. They're arguing that their product, good, or service is the best product, and that's why customers should buy it, or that it's distinguished from other products in the market. So it's fundamentally about making an argument. I would like for you to think about whether or not the author of the article did a good job, whether or not they presented credible evidence to support the premises and conclusions of the article that you review. Um, 30 points for your analysis of the, uh, of the article. Those are the premises that you'll use to support your argument that you make in that thesis statement in the introduction. And then uh, 30 points for discussing and posting uh, a reply to one other student's article review. And then 10 points for a clear and concise conclusion. So I hope that will help you with the article reviews. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me again, and I'll be happy to help you with that. If you want to know what a credible source is, I'll be happy to help you with those kinds of issues as well. If we go back to the Blackboard homepage, and you click on the Test button, um, you can see that exam one is already open. It's a multiple choice, true, false exam. Um, you have 75 minutes to complete the exam. And again, it will cover chapters one, two, four, three, and nine. I hope that this uh, introductory video has been helpful. I uh, look forward to helping you this semester uh, as we progress through the course. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to email or call me at any time. Thank you. Have a good day.